All right, let me get that. Weird way to start our, our video, but whatever. Um, we're currently in Hanoi Airport, and it's been maybe our worst travel day experience so far. So far. It, yeah. I mean, not in comparison to what people go through, it's not the worst, Yeah. but for us, it was stressful. So we were flying with Thai Lion Airways, and when we purchased these tickets, we went through a third party system on a sky scanner and we only purchased for the uh, for the seats so usually with these third-party airlines um, they don't allow you to, to do additional baggage now we travel with around 25 kilograms of uh, checked baggage and usually when you check in online 24 hours before your flight they give you the option to pay for that when we were trying to check in they weren't allowing us to go past um, to, for the payment, it kept saying system Nothing. error. Nothing, not even to check in actually. Yeah, we like weren't we even were be able to check in. E like we weren't able to check into our flight. I tried to call and I wasn't getting through. So, and we had things to do, it was our last night. So we figured we'll just go there and speak to them and screenshot the error. So maybe if they see there's an error, it's understandable. So we arrive at the airport. Um, we went to the counter and she told us it's going to be an extra charge because you didn't purchase it with a ticket. We said yes and she told us how much it was. Yeah. She said it was $17 per kilogram. kilogram. We have a total of 25 So it was like around 400 something extra dollars to, to check, check in, in our baggage. Our she tells us 400 something dollars and we're just like absolutely not like we're not gonna be paying that amount what can you do for us she wouldn't really give us any options at that moment so we asked for a manager the manager comes and basically we're just going in circles trying to explain Shutting to her we understand what the policy is your website is the one that was giving us a system error she's like Oh, that's not our fault. That's not that's not our problem. Yeah, she was basically saying, um, since it's the website, she doesn't work for the website, so it has nothing to do with her. She was telling us to email. Yeah. When so I said, okay, we'll email them later. But right now, we're not trying to pay four hundred dollars so that we can get on our flight. Yeah. I asked them even like, would you pay that much? that much when the ticket doesn't even it's not even double the price of how much we paid we're like what well, what can you do to help they were like oh, let's let's measure how much your your carry-on is maybe you could take some items out of the bag and it'll be less money so we were like well we don't want to take things out because in the end it's still gonna cost us like a lot of money can you just charge us what it would be if we purchased it online or even a little bit more than that she's like no but so like online we saw that it was like it would have it would have cost us yeah like twenty dollars for for both of our bags we had an idea how much it would be like after all this like we didn't get to any conclusion they were basically kicking us out of the line they weren't saying anything yeah they weren't they weren't so we're just gonna sit here and miss the flight mm -hmm. like oh well you can't cancel because yeah. it's already prepaid so we're basically sitting there forced to okay. pay we were like okay we're just gonna have to get brand new tickets we're gonna have to see how much it costs so we walked off and we went to look at uh via jet air which is the airline that we flew from uh chiang rai and we purchased two tickets with 20 kilograms each for $190. We're still paying for Thai Lion Air. So we just lost $158. Luckily, you know, it did work out for a little bit for better. us. Yeah, in our um, favor. Because it was $190 with the bags. We didn't have to take anything with yeah. us. Like we didn't even have to take something from the bag to our carry-on. Yeah. So that worked out for less than what they were trying to do. Yeah. And the funny thing was the counter for Vietjet was right yeah. next to Thai Line. So the yeah. lady they were, they were, they were seeing looking us. up like saw that we just purchased another ticket to yeah. another company, which, which 
I guess it showed that we're we're not trying to do anything. Yeah. We would pay something. It's just so not that much. Don't fly Thai lion here. Scamming. Oh, yeah. Scam. It, it, it was a scam. It was. Hundred percent. Hundred percent scam. The way the way their policy was. But we are about to board for our flight to Bangkok. We're looking forward to spending one more week in, in Thailand where we're going to be for Songkran Festival. So we will see you there. Kosan Road, which is a very popular backpacking destination. But for the Sokran Festival, we wanted to stay towards the main road, which is on Silom. Long, long travel day. Yeah, that ride. That ride was two hours was from the long. airport. It's only supposed to be like 45 minutes. Yeah, it took a really good nap. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna settle in and then grab some, some food. Looking forward to uh, hat thai and maybe like basil fried rice. I'm gonna spend a uh, hundred dollar worth of food. Yeah. To get full rest. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. Ready for food? I'm ready for something so familiar. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice because we we just got here. We're on the main road. And there's just like no no motorbikes, just one or two passing by. Yeah, and we're like one, two, only two motorcycles that pass by. We can handle that. Yeah, so we're gonna just enjoy some beer. We got. Hi, morning glory. But we've actually been here before and we did enjoy the food. Yeah. Thank you. Kosan Road and going to our next hostel towards Salome Road. Last time we were here we didn't get to experience Kosan Road so that's why we only stayed but oh, got about 17 minute drive. Oh, 
Looks like super nice. No window. Oh. Oh, no window. <laughs> okay. They made a window. Well, that's her her window. Let's see. Oof. Oh yeah. Well, I'm probably gonna be here reading. Not bad view of the of the city. So what's the plan for today? Grab some food, maybe do a little bit of shopping. 